Hey folks, welcome to part three of this enclosure series. Man, I, when I first started out, I thought this was gonna be like maybe four videos to get this entire thing done. We're on part three and I'm still working on the very bottom portion of it. But that's kind of how it goes when you're out in the shop. We left off last time with the bottom all welded and all the welds ground down so they're nice and flush. This time I want to go through and I'm going to drill all the mounting holes. And after those holes are drilled, I'm probably going to go ahead and put the little mounting brackets on here for the uprights. They'll look something like this, just a piece of scrap. Don't mind how the angles are cut on it. But it'll look something like that on all four corners. That way um, the upright can mount to the inside of this bracket. And that'll be kind of just a little, little way that I can take the mill apart. It'll bolt together right there. So to figure out these mounting holes, um, came up with a way to mark everything. It's kind of weird, but I'm hoping it'll work out. What I did was I took a Sharpie anywhere that there's an existing hole, like right down underneath here, I went ahead and just marked with a Sharpie. And now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of like bearing grease, like heavy bearing grease, put it on my finger and just smudge it up underneath where that, where that hole is so that a little bit of grease will get on the underside of this bar. And so I've got it marked all the way around wherever there's a hole. And that way, when I lift this off, as long as I don't smudge it and I lift it straight off, I'll be able to, um, to use that as my guide. Another way to kind of cheat and um, it should help out is these are quarter inch, they're quarter 20 it says. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these things probably like 5 16 just so I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And hopefully that's enough to where, you know, everything, if it doesn't line up quite perfect, it's enough wiggle room to make everything seat nicely. All right, we've got some marks there. They might work, we will have to see, right? Um, that one I don't think I got in the corner there. But for the most part, like in some of these, they look like they got smudged, like that one especially. So we're gonna work with what we got. Like I said, I'm gonna drill it a little bit more. That one's like teeny tiny little speck right there. And then this one's a tiny little speck too. I didn't get enough grease on them. So what I'll kind of try and do is the ones that look a little bit better, like that one in particular, like I'll center point the center of those and use those kind of to extrapolate how far away from like at least from this side I need to be and then kind of use you know use the surrounding holes and line everything up because I think the Tormach ones are probably pretty straight on the machine. She's all drilled out. Time for that moment of truth. I'm gonna go grab the wipe and throw this back on the mill. All right guys, I might've been off a little bit, but I don't think I was off that much. Check it out. Nothing's really screwed in here, so I kind of might take some finessing, but you can kind of see here. I'm glad I went with a bigger hole. There you go. You can see all the way around the hole there. Here it's a little iffy. And so I think I just need to start putting bolts in. But yeah, if I shimmy it that way, then it fits, but then it doesn't fit here. So there might be some wallering that needs to be done. But I mean, they're all pretty darn close. That one's about dead on. It's just over, like my hole is over to the right. The machine's over to the left, but this panel has flex in it. As you can see, and then they line up pretty well. On the other side, everything seems to line up really well there. Maybe not when the other when the left side lines up, but when it's on its own, it lines up great. So like I said, I think I just need to, you know, start putting screws in, put them in loose, see if I can get them all in and then snug them down, see how it looks. guys all of the holes lined up good enough this one right here took a little bit of persuasion I just kind of had to you know, give it a little pressure with my hand there and put it in but it went in after that and everything's pretty lined up like flush flush enough um, the corners were all good these ones did nicely I am missing one screw hole 
right about here. Um, somehow I didn't get it marked, which meant I didn't get it drilled. Uh, I might go back and do that at some point, but I got to the point where it was like, okay, I've already got all these drilled. I don't really want to try and drill another one in case these ones are off. So let's just kind of get the basics in it. And yeah, all of them went in. Oh, oh, we got one more missing right there, but that one's lined up too. Okay. It's not threaded in all the way, but you get the idea. That one's in, that one's in. Back behind the mill. Just that missing one. So with it all bolted all the way around now, it lines up pretty well. The only thing is right now, I'll show you this side. I took off the little rubber um, washer they had on there to seal it because I wanted to actually snug this bolt down. If you snug the, the rubber down, it squishes out a lot like that one is. And even with this snug down, like I didn't like wrench on it because there's not a lot of threads there. But I wanted to see just how well it would hold it. And as you can see, you get a lot, like you still get movement on this end. I was trying to see if I could get away with not drilling and tapping a hole here. But that's not going to be the case. We're definitely going to need one on each side. Um, ideally, there would be two here just so that it, you could kind of space them evenly and it would look a little bit nicer. Uh, so I'll think about doing that. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. I kind of... As much as it bothers me to have that big gap right here um, with no bolts, the less holes, kind of the better, I feel like. And since um, it's on the outside of the machine anyway, I don't think it'll be an issue. And as far as being held down, I mean, I don't think it's going to go anywhere if it's got a bolt right there on the end. So I think that's the next step. Drill with the... Um, I forget, like, off the top of my head, like something 1764 or something that's smaller than a quarter inch. Whatever you use to tap a quarter inch hole, we'll drill all the way through both of these plates with that. Then pull this back off, tap the hole underneath on the mill, and then we'll drill a through hole above it. And then we'll be good to go. Just throw a bolt on each side of it. All right, two things real quick. I misspoke. I was reading the enclosure instructions and it says something about quarter 20, but these are not quarter 20. You can tell they are metric by the simple fact that it says 8.8 .8 as well. It's the fact that I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench on it. So I guess it's probably it's like an M6 or something, but I'm going to leave all those the same. I will drill these out to quarter 20. And I forgot what I said, 1764 or something. Quarter 20 up on my little chart here. You drill it out to 1364 to tap it. So there you go. I shouldn't be saying things off the top of my head. So I'll grab 1364, drill that on both sides, and tap it. Tap, tap, tap a roo. So what you saw there was just um, cutting the uprights and the little brackets that are going to weld onto the base. So I've kind of got it mocked up here and this is the first time that you can actually get a sense of how big this thing is really going to be. Check it out. So right here is the little bracket that's going to hold the upright. So this will be welded to the base and then just clamp to that is the upright. And I've got that on the, both the front and the back here on this side. So that's what it looks like. That top piece there is just sitting up on top. It's actually another one of the uprights for the other side. Um, but it actually sat up there and stayed. So I kind of just gingerly sat it up there and stepped away slowly so you kind of get an idea of how big this thing actually is. So it's going to be a beast. So I think I'm gonna leave this video here. All the pieces are cut. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a list of things I need to do when I take that base off of the machine. When I come back, I'll be welding the brackets for the uprights onto the base, cleaning up the base, um, hopefully getting the uprights bolted onto the base, and then um, hopefully I'll have some sheet metal going on here. So fingers crossed that should be coming. See you guys. Thank you.